He was born on March 31, 1934 in Los Angeles as the second son in the family of a sales agent, who tried very hard to ensure that his children and wife did not need anything. When little Richard was two years old, the Chamberlains moved into a new home in Beverly Hills, where the future star, gifted with artistic talent, studied painting at the prestigious Pommon College. In his student years, the young man became interested in music and dramatic art, participating with pleasure in amateur productions of the studio. After receiving his diploma, Chamberlain served two years in the army in a unit stationed in Korea, and when he returned home, he realized that he wanted to develop in the acting field. After pushing around for some time on castings, auditions and getting rejected, Richard decided to raise the level of professional skills and signed up for private lessons. Success was not long in coming. A year later, he was approved for small roles in the films Barrel Hayes and Alfred Hitchcock Presents, which gave the aspiring actor much needed experience in acting and being in the frame. Fame and insane popularity came to him in 1961 after the premiere of the series Drive Kildare, in which the producers of the MGM film studio entrusted a significant role to a handsome young man. The success was so great that the series was filmed for five years, and Chamberlain was awarded the Golden Globe. It is said that Richard received more fan mail than the legendary Clark Gable after the release of Gone with the Wind, 12,000 a week. The appearance of Chamberlain in Hamlet on the stage in London restored the popularity of Shakespeare's play which had been unjustly forgotten for 40 years before. The actor in the image of Hamlet made a splash on both sides of the ocean. And in the performances of My Fair Lady and The Sound of Music he was an absolute star. Richard did not forget about music either. After taking vocal lessons from private teachers, the actor sang and recorded five albums. One composition of which hit the first lines of the Billboard Hot 100 charts and became an undoubted hit. The next Golden Globe went to the actor actor for the role of skipper John Blackthorne in the cult TV series Shogun. In 1982, Chamberlain again captivated an audience of millions as a priest, partnering with Rachel Ward in the miniseries The Thorn Birds. After participating in the miniseries Wallenberg, The Story of a Hero, The Secret of the Bon Identity, Centennial, Road to the West Chamberlain earned the unofficial title of King of Miniseries. The roles of Aramis and Dante's in the film adaptations of the works of Alexander Dumas, the Russian writer Anton Chekhov and the British poet Byron, Giacomo Casanova, and Father Ralph de Bricasset in the film adaptation of Colin McCulloch's novel only confirmed the status of the star. And the last role brought the actor another Golden Globe. This was followed by talented work in Roger Young's thriller The Born Identity, the drama The Road to the West, the military film Wallenberg, a hero's story, the adventure films King Solomon's Mines, Alan Quatermain and The Lost City of Gold, along with Sharon Stone. In the 2000s, the celebrity reminded herself of herself in the film The Perfect Family and the serial drama Brothers and Sisters, in episodes of the series Virtuosi, Parts of the Body, Chuck and Twin Peaks Return. Richard S. Unconventional sexual orientation has never been a secret to others. After ending an affair with actor Wesley Eyre, Chamberlain met colleague Martin Rabbit, with whom he moved to Hawaii. In order to indicate a partner in the will, he formalized the relationship with Martin. In 2003, the star's book Broken Love was published, in which he shared his experiences and suffering due to his homosexual orientation.